So are Hawaiian haystacks Hawaiian? I really don't know. But no matter what it is, Jane's version is going to be so delicious. Join me today on Cooking Made Easy with June to learn how to make this super easy meal. That's coming up next on Spanish Fork 17 and my show is brought to you by Macy's, the happy shopping store in Spanish Fork. Welcome to Cooking Made Easy with June. This day we are graced with our beautiful Jane. <laughs> She's been on before, but she has such great easy recipes. And when Jane first, uh, so Jane, when you first um, showed me, told me to say, oh yeah, I would like to make Hawaiian haystacks. I thought, oh, I don't make a lot of Hawaiian haystacks. But when you sent me the recipe, I was excited because the sauce is not just canned. I mean, we do have the, some can in it, but at the same time, it's um, you added some other things to make a yummy sounding sauce. So I'm excited. So. Tell me about your recipe and well, when did you start to make it? Go ahead. The no, thing no. that is so great about this recipe is most of us have food storage. Mm -hmm. And when Macy has their case lot cells, oh, you can yes, stock they up. they always do. It's mainly cream of chicken soup. And you can use the canned chicken. If you have fresh chicken, you can use fresh chicken. But if, you know, you're trying to fix dinner and you don't have right. the ingredients, usually you have canned chicken. Um, cream of chicken soup, right. canned milk, butter, and usually you have milk <laughs> in your refrigerator. Today we do not have milk, so we're gonna make it more <laughs> yummy, which Oh, that is reminds me, I'm like, okay, I have, have. It. <laughs> I have it in the fridge. But listen, so t but you told me a little bit earlier about how you started making this. I know that you, because you said your family was sick of pizza I know. or something. Our family gets together, and a lot of times we just have pizza, and somebody makes a big salad, and we just order out pizza. And a couple of weeks ago, our family was getting together, and I thought, I am just so sick, sick of pizza. Of pizza. <laughs> I mean, we love it. Yeah. And I just was kind of craving Hawaiian haystacks. Gosh. And so we made them, and everybody just loved them. And it's just I, so easy to do. I can't remember the last time I had them, honestly. So well, I'm well really if you do, it for, because it, it feeds a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. And the other thing is, you can make it up and stick it in your crock pot, and just keep it on warm, so you can oh, make the it. Oh, sauce. Yeah, Ooh. I think I, I actually made it the day before the sauce. Oh, and, and you warmed it up. And then I just put it in my crock pot oh, and put low. it on warm, on low. Ooh, and then good idea. We just had it that night, and then I got the, all the toppings ready. So we better start the rice. Yeah, so I, I have about this is short grain rice, so we don't need as much water. Um, I put three cups in there, so it's time and a half. So about um, three, four. Four and a half cups of water. So let's get the rice because that's what we yeah. always do first, right? Yeah. Okay. And the other thing about rice, usually everybody has it in their cup or two. Yeah, yeah. So I'm I actually, my favorite is brown rice. But oh, today, I, this is just because <laughs> most of us always are in a hurry. Right. And I cheat sometimes if I'm going past um, like Panda Express or someplace. <laughs> sometimes I'll run in and it. just buy the rice or it's like, oh I even gosh. buy frozen rice at the grocery store. Well, so the I, sauce is going to make it, Because right? then I just open it up and put it in the microwave. So Nice. You <laughs> are you can so use, clever. And you can use other things like the um, cauliflower, if you want cauliflower free. rice. Cauliflower oh. rice. Or quinoa. Or, you yeah. know, just all those that's kind of... A, that's and it's true. kind of fun to try different things. So No, okay. I think that's a good idea. So we started the rice. So Let's we're going to do the sauce. Yeah, so we'll start the ahead. sauce. Tell okay, the sauce is so easy. Okay. All you have to do is have a cube of butter. Okay. And if you don't have butter and you only have margarine, go ahead and use oh, margarine. Oh, goodness, I'm making a mess. Uh, do you I, want a knife to cut the chunks or you just throw it in you there? You know what? I'm just going to break it up. Break it like this. <laughs> and sometimes I just put it in and it doesn't matter. And I keep saying I need to invest into an minute. electric can opener. But I just don't. like to do everything as quickly and easy as I can. Yeah. Okay, we need to know how to open up your, or turn it on. Your, oh, okay. So you have to, so it's just right there. So oh, what do you want oh. it on first? We'll just turn it on. Just, yeah, this is good. Like just that. right here okay. where, it, where it's just going to yeah. start melting the butter. Okay. And that will be just perfect right there. Oh gosh, I'm struggling and I'm going to have to get a little stir. She has one right here. Okay. Just kind of get that butter going. So I'm opening up these cans. And that is perfect. <laughs> the thing that is really great about the cans, uh -huh. in the recipe you put three cups of chicken broth. And if you use can, you just put the chicken broth, pour it in... Um, do you want to see? Just pour it in. Do you, or do you just use it? Yeah, okay, you, you, just, you do it. You, see you what can you just do. pour it in and use this broth instead of oh, okay, opening yeah. up a can of chicken broth, you know? Yeah. So you don't waste it. 
So it's okay if you get a little bit of chicken in there, right? Oh, you're yeah. draining it because it's going to all go in the sauce. But you don't want to put the whole can in right away because no, you, you don't, don't want to put You want to put the chicken in at the very end. Yeah, because it's already cooked, so, right? Okay. So if you have um, four cans of chicken like this, uh -huh. and you can buy the food town or the food club yeah. at Macy's. Right, right. You just put all the chicken broth in here. Oh, sorry. No, go ahead. These, and see that's three cups right myself. there perfect three cups of chicken broth nice and then we'll just put that in at the end yep okay so okay. we start the sauce with butter yep and we're just kind of melting this butter always makes it good when you got butter in there and that's it oh just melt it yeah, first huh? okay we'll just melt this butter and then we'll get such a, a good idea i feel like i always waste the chicken the broth yeah when and I so make this a quick is, lunch this is what's so great about it is you yeah. can use all your food storage Oh. And all of us, we need to use our food storage yeah. so it doesn't waste. No, that sounds great. I don't know why. Okay. And it's so easy. I mean, your children can even make it if you teach them. And you know, I was, gonna, have... I was going to look up to see if they're, why they're called Hawaiian haystacks. Maybe because it's got the Hawaiian toppings. Oh. I don't know where it came from. I was curious, but I didn't get a chance to look it up. I'll have to, you guys can look it up. And, and you know, me. the toppings are really fun because you can be creative. You right, can put right. anything really well, the funny on. Thing, now, I guess if you could call it Hawaii. Maybe it did originate from Hawaii because it's got Chinese noodles. Yeah. And, and then in a, Hawaii, yummy. there's a lot of um, mixture of uh -huh. um, different cultures in there with the... I love celery in it too. Oh yeah. Okay, we'll we are gonna put a cup and a quarter of flour. Okay. This Into is the melting. butter. Uh -huh. And it's just kind of like a white sauce, you know. Oh yes, it is. So that I'll. Makes sense. Um, so we wanna. We don't want it to be gritty. So we're gonna cook the. So butter, I will put this in. I'm gonna load it. Can we load this down? Yeah. 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 Just turn this way. To low. Yeah. Put or it more medium. to low. Okay. And then I'm just. I just you kinda, want to Oh, you just guess. Okay. I just guess. Okay. And you know what? All of us kind of know how to cook. And if you're gluten free, you could use cornstarch, right? I've never done that, but that would oh, be. Oh, I don't know. I'm I just thinking. Know. I've never that done the gluten, gluten free, free, but you know what? If you're gluten free, you could probably figure out how yeah, right. to do it. Okay, so this is kind of just turns into a little. Um, what is it called? Roux or. Uh, yeah, well, uh, I don't know what is. Well, not a roux yet. It's just you're just cooking. Yeah, so it kind of gets cooking the flour, so it won't be so yeah grainy. And, and grainy. then we'll just start. We're gonna add some broth, and okay. then we're just gonna start throwing this broth in. Yeah. So when I didn't look at the, did you look see how much many? It was three cups, cups oh, exactly. Okay, perfect. And that's you're supposed to have three cups of broth. Look at that. Well, mm. gosh, this is a great recipe for. Uh -huh. When you were just like, didn't have time to the grocery store and you go, oh, I've yeah. got this in my food storage or in the basement. And, and you know what, you like have... even if on a Sunday, mm -hmm. if you know, you have these things and all of a sudden you think, oh, let's invite some neighbors over for dinner. Oh, really, wow. this feeds. <laughs> this, Ready, you, would, you would do that spontaneously, this you're so feeds nice. <laughs> so many people because we had 20 people at my family dinner the other night. Oh, wow. Maybe not yeah. even 20. And but, I had so much left over. <laughs> So, so you should have invited your neighbors. <laughs> I should have. I should Do you have. want a whisk or are you good? You know what? I'm going to pour the rest of that oh, in. Oh, okay. I should smooth use it out. The, the, the whisk. And then we're going to need the, um, the, the, milk? the canned milk. Oh, oh the and canned milk. And it's right milk. there. Oh. Yeah, so you put canned milk in it. And um, you put milk. But I think the canned milk just makes it a little creamier. Mm -hmm. it's kind of smoother. But this is going to be really creamy. Do you because want to yeah, we can pour it in. But see, it's just already smooth. See that? It's just smooth. And what's the oh, temp on? Is that up. medium? I'll turn it up. Yeah, we just want it kind of on medium. And you medium. need some milk too. And I didn't have, I can't believe I don't have milk in my fridge. I have a teenage boy in here, so I have some. Oh, oh that rice is boiling. Oh, shoot. Yeah, just turn it so, down. Okay, here, I'm going to just do that. So it okay, I always do that. I always say, so you need to have a designated If you ever see rice boiling, person. always take the lid off and it yeah. will help it so it doesn't spill over. So let me get, oh, how much milk do you need? We need about two cups. Okay. So I'll pour it in here. Oh, this is going to be really good. Yeah, it's half and half. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so additional butter creaminess. And you know, this makes so much, we might have to turn this into another pot. Oh, really? Because okay. you need we to put four pot. cans of cream of oh. chicken soup in it. <laughs> I was wondering. Let me grab this big pot here. And I wasn't even thinking. I know. It's okay. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Make it in a bigger pan like this. <laughs> 
Okay. Are you okay? Do you need yeah. anything? Yeah, we'll just transfer this like this. Nice. So I love this part because the handles are supposed to stay cool. Here, I'm going to just get that. Oh, fly. yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. And then I will use a whisk. Oh, yeah. Just do you want me to do ahead. it? Yeah, do that, and then we'll get the whisk going. These are really nice pans. Thank I you. love them. Thank you. They're so nice. And there's Please a whisk mark. right here. I love that. Yeah. Just start whisking away here. Yep. Okay. Um, and so do we want it to boil? Tell them. We, we want it to kind of to a boil, a slow roll, rolling boil. Mm -hmm. And then why don't we open those cans of oh, soup? Okay. So oh, you these, use oh, four. Okay, I get it. You use four cans of cream of chicken soup. And, yeah. So I don't know why I just grabbed. And June actually she bought two, <laughs> and then a bit. So I guess you could just maybe get two of those big ones. Yeah, you could get it two might, You might ones. have a savings in money. Yeah, I don't. I, I, it was a few cents, um, but I just thought I'd try this fat for you. Maybe mix it up, but it doesn't even matter anymore. We've got <laughs> half and half <laughs> and butter. <laughs> Do you? And you know what else is kind of good in it? I love salt. <laughs> So I always oh. put a little salt in it. Oh, really? And maybe you it, don't need it, but well, um, I, you can they put on their own salt. Salt. But you, you want can the put salt on your own. Good, yeah. Though. So we can just we can do whatever. You can just put your own salt on. Yeah, I but love, we can add salt. Do you want to add salt now? Well, we don't even need it because it, it might be too salty with oh, the, okay, all, we've this got stuff, all this stuff. Let me get I a spatula. I am a salt lover. I love the Himalaya salt. <laughs> That pink, in fact, I keep it in my purse. Oh, you got it, okay. So when I go, when my husband and I go out to dinner, I use my own salt. <laughs> really, you love salt that much? I love salt. That's so funny. I love the Himalaya pink. Oh. And it's healthy for you too, because you know, it has a lot of minerals we don't get in. Um, I did not know that. Table salt isn't good for you. I do have some Himalaya, I always wondered the difference in salt. Yeah, it has, it has more minerals. minerals. Nice. Uh, it has minerals in that sometimes our body really needs. Yeah. I guess my body needs it because I'm always craving it. <laughs> well, you're so healthy, yeah. so you must know what you're doing. <laughs> well, anyway, I don't know about that, but I do have a little sweet tooth. So um, we're gonna talk a little bit later too. I know we, last time we were talking about your bakery. Yeah. Your great harvest, so great. Uh -huh. Oh my goodness. Um, but we're gonna, we'll have some rolls out here to go with our dish, but. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna finish this. Um, we can take a little break, actually. And while it's warming up and getting bubbly, uh -huh. and then when we come back, we're just gonna prepare some toppings for you guys. And so don't go away. Okay, so come back. All right, welcome back. I mean, my goodness, I was just talking to Jane, and this is like one batch. So we're, we're going huge. to have, yes, this is so exciting. Um, so you can make a crowd and we just open up with the broth. And so, and yeah, so what do we do next, Jane? Well, this is basically all ready and we okay. can actually put the chicken in right now. And okay, if it's the canned chicken, yes. sometimes I'll just kind of um, smash it up or okay. what do you call that? Um, break it up a little break bit. It, break it up, <laughs> <laughs> smash it up. <laughs> And you know what's so interesting is when I had these, made these the other day, all of my family, were, they were like, this chicken tastes so good. I think the we, chicken? <laughs> yes. I think we get so used to the roasted chicken and all the fancy food these yes, days. Yes. And sometimes it just tastes good to have just the old good canned food. <laughs> but honestly, this is actually good, like right well, there yeah. next to fresh because uh -huh. they, they cook it and then they um, re, um, seal uh -huh. it right away. So it's it, like it's so food. tender and soft, you know. Yeah. Little yeah. children can eat on it; they won't choke on it. So, yeah. so I was just warming it. up some brown rice. Um, yeah, for I, our topping. Sometimes I cheat and I'll go buy some rice at just wherever a Chinese restaurant is. And I really <laughs> like brown, so we got some brown rice. I guess this is Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll start with do some toppings, right? Okay. Yeah. So and this ahead. is basically ready and. We'll okay. just keep it on medium to oh, keep it hot. Oh, on medium? Okay. Or hot or low. Do you or want it on medium, medium low? low? Okay. We'll just so keep right it there. on medium low. Perfect. Okay. Okay, so toppings are so toppings. fun. Yeah. You can do anything. It's And you know, if you're having a family dinner or something, you can just put them in cute bowls and mm -hmm. it can be kind of like a salad bar and people can choose what they like the yeah. most. So it is kind of like a salad. Uh-huh, <laughs> it is. So you can have healthy things. I've heard of Hawaiian haystacks, and but I just don't do it very often because some, yeah. maybe I haven't had a good version. You know what? When you taste these, you're going to think, this tastes all good. You know what else is 
really, really good on it that I think that we forgot about mm -hmm. is almonds. If you oh, um, oh no, I have almonds. some. Let me go look. Oh, do you, you have talk. some almonds? Yeah, I, that's what I remember. You did it on the list, but almonds I just completely forgot. Almonds make it taste so delicious, and like I say, it's like a salad bar. So people who can't have nuts, they don't need to put it on theirs because everything's separate. Yeah. So go ahead and keep talking. <laughs> well, yeah, I will. These are. There it um, is. I did find some almonds. These are just the little green onions, and they just make the flavor <laughs> yummy. And then if you don't like onions, you don't have to eat them. That's what's so fun about this recipe. You put what you like on it. The funny thing is, a lot of people who do not like um, the onions, they like the green onions because I think it's a bit yeah, more green mild. Yeah, green onions. Yes, it's a lot more mild. Yeah. Because okay, so I'm not a big onion almonds. eater either, unless yeah. they're grilled or cooked or whatever. So, so we're just I love up celery. Our I love love celery. Celery on it. Here we'll put some cheese yeah. in this bowl. Yeah. Go for it. Cheese is really good on it. The best way to do it is right when you get the sauce, put the cheese on it and melts. Oh. While it's hot. You can use any kind of cheese. I just have to. Uh -huh. I that. always just use grated cheese yeah. like this. Whatever you have at home. Uh, now, am I cutting this too small or are you good? Okay, and then I love um, yeah, water this. chestnuts. Do you have a can opener? Yep. And let's see. And I love um, the pineapple. And so, really, you could do all of this well ahead. You can make a sauce ahead. Oh, yeah. Like I mean, I said, this is a great Sunday meal. Uh, like I said, I made it the day before and then I stuck it in my crock pot you and just warmed celery. it up. Yeah. So. so, and then you can also, um, what was I thinking? I guess you could, this could be like a camp. When you go on a camping trip meal? You know, you could. You yeah. know, because I mean, really, because if everything's a can, it won't go right? rotten. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, okay, so we'll. But what I really like, really, mostly everybody has all of these items in their pantry. Right. And then if you don't and you really like it, stock up when they're on sale. And then you know if your family likes it. I mean, it's a yummy meal to have once a month. Oh, that's true. If you can plan that. You know, <laughs> the thing is, your children can make this basically. That's true. <laughs> mm. Okay, well, like but I keep thinking back. I, I should have looked up about when, how these came about. And I wouldn't be surprised if it truly is Hawaiian. I don't because, know. <laughs> <laughs> because, I mean, really, you think of coconut? Let's uh, see. We need one more. Oh, we need two more little bowls. Oh, okay. Have I got some. For the water chestnuts okay. and for the, those little mm -hmm. yummy, crunchy things. That's what the kids like. They like to make them and put all the crunchies on. We'll have to use a couple of these different ones. Oh, that's good. No, I don't have any more white, the white ones. Oh, those are cute. Oh, those are really cute little bowls. Hey. I love those. Hey. And the water ch chestnuts, you can put them big or you can just kind of chop them up a little bit. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I kind of oh, chop them. Oh, I would chop, chop yeah. Because they're a chunky. little bit. When you buy water chestnuts too, and I've done this a million times. Oh. Always look on the can because you can buy them this sliced or whole. And I, so I bought the whole one so many times and I'm like, what am I doing? Oh, you know what? Another thing is really good in the sauce, June, uh -huh. um, it are mushrooms. If you have canned oh, mushrooms. Oh, yes. At I'm your not a house. big canned mushroom fit person, but. If you do, you can put a can good. of mushrooms in them. And that, I love mushrooms, but I know some people don't. Okay, but just add a can of mushrooms. Okay, it's so easy. let's go ahead and take a little break. Um, we've got our toppings going here. And the rice is almost done, and then we'll come back and we'll put it together. Oh, it looks so, so good. So is this everything, you think? Well, I, yeah, if, if I we think. we forget, we'll find it. Okay, I think so we're going to take a break. Yeah, and then we'll come back and we'll put it together and we'll taste it. Okay, so come back. Okay. Welcome back. I am so excited. Look at this. It's so beautiful. It's it so is. beautiful. It's just like a salad bar, a buffet. It's and so good. So when we were off air, you were talking about how um, that you would freeze it. Well, Talk about I, that in a minute. There, there's so much in this. And I actually, when we had, a, I, when I had my family, I may have doubled this, but I had so much <laughs> left over. I 
put them in You court. doubled this. I may oh, have. Oh my goodness. Maybe, I, I can't remember, but I put it in <laughs> quart jars and I just froze it and then I had another little party and I put it in my crock pot, pot that morning and it was just like I had made it. Oh Everybody gosh. loved it. It was so yummy. So our so, rice is finished. So I'm just gonna put this for the, for the show. But see how perfect that is right yeah. there. So I'm gonna put this white rice. I'm gonna have a little brown rice like you were yeah, suggesting. Yeah, I, lo I love brown you, rice. You like brown rice better? Uh -huh. I'm so, a brown ricer, so I'm gonna put brown rice yeah, on Yeah, go ahead and put brown rice, and let's get, have a taste of this. But I'm gonna put this for display in a minute. So do, what do you put, the, the main thing is just put rice first, but otherwise uh -huh. it's whatever, and then right? She, usually the best is you can put cheese in the sauce. Go ahead. You know, put the cheese on first and then the sauce, because then oh. it melts it. But it doesn't matter however okay. you do it. So I'm just gonna put some cheese here. Right here, and then I'm gonna put a scoop of this. I'm not a big cheese fan, but I'll put oh, a little bit. And if you're not, you know. I just put a little. <laughs> so there we go. Just like a Ooh, little soup. Wow. And then it will melt. <laughs> okay. okay, now these are Let's our different cup. toppings. Yep. There's some shredded carrots, which I love. So it's just kind of like a, like I said, a salad bar. It's kind of fun. I feel like, um, yeah. These celery here. I love the crunchy of the. Oh, I love the crunchy. I'll put that topping last. I'm gonna. Oh yeah, put, these are all crunchy. I'm gonna put the fruit on last because. Um, oh, the fruit on the last. The fruit makes okay, it cold. Switch. Well, it doesn't matter. Oh, well, I mean, I was just gonna. I love almonds, so I'll stick those on. Oh, me too. Let's see, celery. Oh, oh I love water fun. chestnuts. <laughs> yes. There we go. And of course, you could try. I think you know to be. Oh, pretty. and there's coconut flakes too. Those yeah. are really good. I'm going to put, put some pineapple. I, I love pineapple. Do you put some. this on last or does it matter? It doesn't matter. I mean, nothing matters. <laughs> <laughs> nothing matters. <laughs> and then I'm going to put... Get out of the way. <laughs> I'm going to put a little mandarin oranges. Oh, yes. And then you can season it with your <laughs> own salt like and pepper if Hawaiian you want. Hawaiian salad. Hawaiian haystack. And I love salt, so I'm going to just sprinkle they a little salt on Call it mine. haystack because of this. Oh, yeah. You're, oh, I should have brought the haystack. <laughs> I know. That's okay. Oh, I love coconut. And then you can just have Look it with a roll. And these are Great Harvest rolls from oh, Great yes. Harvest Bread Company. Here's some wheat bread, some so coconut you own, cream. So you own the... Um, the bakery. The bakery. In Provo. Uh -huh. In Provo. And oh, yes. so amazing. I love to go there regularly to get... I see your husband in the morning, early morning. Yes. Yeah. After the gym, I run over there. Because you open early. Yeah. When, do you, when do you open? 6.30 to 6.30. Yeah. So I Our bakers to... get there at 3 o'clock in the oh, morning. Oh, we go. Clock. Yeah, our wheat bread is Okay, wait, good. hold a second before I forget. Did I forget anything? I don't know. No, okay, let's Here, I'm stirring mine up, so. Oh, okay, well, yeah. Oh, no, I, I always do this. I'm going to have to flip this open. Oh, yeah, I better do it. I know, I stick it. I've done that before. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to so do that, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it just feels weird to have these. Mmm. Mmm. It's yummy, huh? It's really yummy. And kids I'm gonna want some salt too. Bring me some. Can you have me some salt? Um, a little salt. We didn't put any salt in the right. the mix because we thought people can salt it themselves. Yeah, they can. But I do like that. It's yummy, isn't Ooh, that it? That's really good. It's actually surprisingly refreshing, even though we had a butter and cream in the sauce. But this mm -hmm. is so good. And it, it's kind of even good for a summer meal because mm -hmm. you can put all the fresh things. I was thinking the other day, even chopped um, um, mm. cabbage might be good on it. Mmm. I like cabbage. I do too. I think this is perfect though, just like it is. Hmm. Now, mm -hmm. um, what was I gonna say? I think I would have to add more pineapple in mine. I like that, the fruit flavor. Mm -hmm. And the mandarin oranges. I think you almost have to get a bite of everything. Mm -hmm. But it's crunchy. This is so fun. Mm -hmm. So fun. And of course, um, yeah, you can serve with rolls. Oh gosh, look mm -hmm. at Jane's rolls. <laughs> mm -hmm. They look perfect. I like to make my own rolls, but sometimes I'm like, okay, just go there and get one. If you can make, make them, make them, but these yeah, are but delicious if you don't want to make them. Yeah. They're and hearty. Then, yeah, and then um, you've got, oh, this, this is homemade This bread. is honey whole wheat, but I brought mm -hmm. a little coconut cream oh, bread. This will go it's perfect a spring bread. It is so I'm gonna cut. delicious. <laughs> I love it. But I love I'm sweet, gonna... so. <laughs> <laughs> I have a sweet tooth, too, so I'm going to uh -huh. have a little bit of this already. <laughs> yeah, taste it and see how mm. you like it. Mm. So good. Jane, you're so sweet Coconut to cream. invite me. Jane no. and I have been friends for so long. No, but and Jane, it's so just, fun. Just gets us together. <laughs> yes. So fun. And we Thank love you food. so much for coming. You, you are so welcome. You have so many wonderful recipes. You must entertain a lot. 
I love. I mean, you're so busy parties, with your shop. I really, <laughs> since all my kids have grown up, I don't cook very much, but it's fun to do this. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. Happy cooking. Go to. Do you have a great website for your shop or your? No, just Great Harvest. Great, great Harvest. Coffee. It's been in around Provo. forever. Yeah, in Provo. West Go there. The football stadium. Yes, yes, been there for over 30 years. Yes, and of course, um, go make a recipe. Go to. Um, the Spanish Fork, you can watch this on Spanish Fork TV, but not on, it's on the YouTube uh, for Spanish Fork TV. So thank you again for coming, Hawaiian Haystacks, and happy cooking. Until next time. <laughs> <laughs>